SiteGrinder version 3.2 has added some upload features to the text editor, and that's what this video is about. We're going to edit the body text here, and we're going to insert an image that we actually upload using the content manager, and we're going to also uh, add a PDF file to our site, which we'll create a link to within this text. To do this, we select the type area here from the editable content panel of the content manager, and we click the edit button. Now we have the tiny MCE displayed as with previous versions of SiteGrinder 3. There are a couple of new things going on here. For example, there's this little button here that expands or contracts the, the little toolbar area. And uh, then what I'm gonna do here is just add a couple of returns to create some space to add the picture to. And then I'm going to click the, the same insert image button that has been there before. The difference now is that there's this little upload uh, link here. If we have a, an already uploaded image or an image on some other site that we'd like to include, we can just paste in the link here. But if we actually don't have the image on our site yet, we'll click the upload button. We will click the choose file button. Pick an image. And uh, I'm not going to do it, but if you, uh, if you want to, you can add an image description here. It's considered good form. In fact, if I click the insert button here, it's going to badger us about putting in a description, but it, it isn't really necessary. And then I'm going to just hit the OK button, and let's watch what happened. So now we have the image inserted into uh, the text area, just as we wanted. And notice, of course, because this is in a column, the uh, footer moved down and uh, anything else below it would have moved down to accommodate the, the new height of the type area. I'd like to point out that we're in local mode, meaning I'm using the uh, content manager on uh, files that are right here on my computer. If I had built this site with the control add-on and uh, it was uploaded somewhere, I could use the remote content management system in the same way, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the only real difference here is that what I've done is Currently, I've added this image to my local site, and it's not going to appear on my remote site until I upload the changes. If I had been editing the remote site, then the image would have uploaded at that time to the remote site, and it would have been already changed remotely. Now, to add a link, we do uh, essentially the same steps, but using the link editor instead of the image editor. So what we'll do is, again, just uh, select the text area from the editable content list. Then I will just select some text. So let's just select the text authoritatively, this word here. And I'll click the link button this time instead of the image button. And of course, the, the link editor has this URL field that we could fill out if we had a URL. But we uh, actually want to upload a file to link to. So I'm going to click the upload button. I'm going to click the choose file dialog. And now I've got a, a PDF here, a seasonally appropriate uh, PDF of the 1040 form. I believe that's a public domain file there. And I will insert that. Now notice it doesn't appear here. It's, it's just created a link. So what's going to happen is that when I click this link, uh, it's going to uh, go to that file. So I'll say OK. And again, this is working locally. It's not going to affect my remote site until I upload the changes. And so just let's just talk a little bit about what's actually happened here. SiteGrinder has now copied that file from wherever I chose it on my disk into my site folder. And when uh, SiteGrinder uploads, it's going to upload that file. Specifically, there is a folder called SG user files that you'll see on your site if you've ever uploaded an image or another file this way. And the files that you've uploaded are in that folder, both locally and remotely after you upload. So let's take a look at functionally uh, what's happened here with this linked file. So notice if I click on it, uh, it actually downloads. Uh, and that's interesting because this is uh, the way it's done in Safari. And you'll see that now it's open in uh, Acrobat because it, it automatically opens in Acrobat. Some browsers will just download the file. Some browsers will download the file and open it if, the, if you have a, a program like Acro Acrobat Reader that's appropriate for the file type. And that's pretty much it. So that's, that's a cool new feature in SiteGrinder 3.2, and I hope you make uh, good use of it.